and our Stardew Valley starts on a Monday. Oh, it's actually something to investigate. But a sign down. I get it. Ooh. Can I investigate that, or is that? I okay. think that's can hard. investigate that. Perception sight. A crumpled billboard reading Samar and Butter soaks the canal. Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. Interfacing. Medium success. The sign billboard has fallen on the water lock, keeping it open, plus out of order. What is Samar and Butter, or Visual Calculus Medium 11? Attempt to reconstruct what happened here. I'm going to do yeah, that. I mean, it looks pretty high. Check failure. failure! No, I got a bad roll. Just some tasteless advertising at the bottom of a canal. No use rubbernecking now. What is this butter? Whatever it is, the boy on the billboard seems very happy about it. Encyclopedia, medium success. Goat milk butter. The Samaran terrain makes it easier to raise goats and cows, and the local goat farmers produce high-quality meat and dairy staples that add variety to other nations' diets. Perception taste. It's an acquired taste. Nothing more to see here. Move along. Well, that's a shame. Oh, I can go up. Mm -hmm. Back to the street. Is the street where I belong? I'm a cop! You can probably sleep on that bench. Let's go down the other side of the street. I mean, there was some stuff going on around oh, here that I never right, investigated. Though that so, looks like, like a... No, probably not a dead end. It could be a dead end. We'll see. Mm-hmm. And then we'll check the other side of the street. Yes. Tire tracks leading to the, onto the roof. The slush and rain has almost washed them off. Well, if I did do that, I at least look like a badass doing it. <laughs> You're right? A, oh, orange thought over there. It's yellow, but yeah. The spirited chirps and clicks of swallows fills the air. There's another one there. Interesting. Oh, we got to be careful. That's going to lead me all the way down there, so... Let's look at stuff. The coin-operated viewer has been banged up inoperable. Okay, there's a drunk over there, too. Okay, so let's go down, check out this little area and this drunk boy. Mmm, ooh. There's something over there. Yeah, we'll just check this out on the way. The ad reads, broken window, Tibbs has windows. Okay, good to know, Tibbs. Things I've seen and said, nothing I can't do on the job for every man. Oh, I can see it from the- ooh, Yes! I Grab take bag. Hobo cop! The hobo. She is realized. The plastic bag has freight written on it in a dynamic, forceful manner that implies great prices. As you crack it open, a multi gust of air fill flies in your face. It smells of yeast and beer. A perfect place for Tare. Um. Oh, that's because I failed the check, wasn't it? Mm. Yellow. Oh. You hear the distant squall of seabirds. Hmm. Okay, so we got our bag. And... We can rummage through that garbage for Terry. Yeah, that's a good idea, Philippa. Taking money. That was quite a lot. Yeah? I'm up to 20 buck now. Or 20 real now. 20 real money. A splatter of bullet holes lines the wall. It's pretty core. Side of bolt holes stir something in you, making you forget the lieutenant's surname. Look closer first. Kim, look! Bullet holes! Look close first. The fading marks are too degraded to draw any forensic conclusions, just chips on the sandstone. Visual calculus, medium success. They look pretty ancient. Look, bullet holes! Where? He looks around, pointing to the chips on the wall. Someone has been shot! We're cops, we should solve it! Kim, there? He looks at the wall. Those are old. Oh, okay then. Or what do you mean old? I mean, I think they're from this revolution and war we've been hearing about. These bullets were fired during the revolution over half a century ago. They do not warrant investigation. Uh, we could ask him about the revolution. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to know more. Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Shall we go? Okay, but we got XP from that shit, so... It was worth asking. It was. It's definitely <laughs> worth coming down here for the money. Oh, where's he going? I don't know. Kim's just looking at shit, I guess. Looking out at the sea. He's not being creepy, Watson. Coin operated viewer. This coin operated viewer is facing southwest. This coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Poor little viewer. Pat it. Vandalism. Shake your head. Look inside. Oh. Let's look inside. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell spell out the word onuk, written on the other side with an N and C scribbled backwards. <laughs> Medium success. 
That's Kuno on the lens. Of course. Shift it's... your focus to the background. <laughs> Under the graffito, a blue, sea of blues and greys appears. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky with worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. Encyclopedia, medium success. You know this to be the star of Pericarnassus, or the Chiro, the central symbol of the per Pericarnassian church. A star, a great moral height to be strived towards. Inland Empire, medium success. The church looks old and weather worn. There are no lights on the windows. Perception sight, easy success. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach. A small and a small tent. Sorry, a small tent set up on the ice. I'll just remark on the vandalism. Kim, probably some kids. Lieutenant inspects the rig slot. Interfacing, medium success. A simple but clever solution to ruining a coin-operated viewer. It took ingenuity. All right, we will we will look at more things. There's another one of these to look at, actually. Probably also vandalized. Probably also by... ruined. Uh, it's facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims to pull the handle while looking inside and to use the focus knob to zoom if necessary. Why place a tourist... Sorry, logic, medium success. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? And we can ask about it or we can insert a coin. I'm going to ask about it. Kim, there was a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. The lieutenant looks around and concludes, it didn't stick. What happened? Kim, I got as far as street lamps that statu and that statue on the intersection before something went sour, he lowers his voice. I suspect it was Evrat Claire's doing. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. <laughs> cool, I dig organized crime. It's the best. Can we do something about it? We'll say nothing. I'm gonna say, can we do something about it? We should have done something about it, about the Union ten years ago. That ship has sailed, officer. I'm not gonna bother inserting a coin here. Yeah. If I really want to, I can come back. For now, I'm being a spendthrift. Oh, cop needs his money. To Roundabout North. To Cape Side Apartments, Martinez Pier. Dun 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 Maybe. Something went rah. Yeah, I heard it. On the cover stands a very muscular man surrounded by flames. Blue thought, blue thought. Oh, shit. The book has a rose and a pistol and a half-naked dame on its cover. The book is titled Man from Hjelmdal and the Wild Fire. Hjelmdal. What? Hjelmdal. Okay. This is a book about pate. Ugh. This book, you don't really understand what it's about, nor does it seem important. Book about Boyadero culture. It promotes freedom and roaming upstream. A book about the future. Government reads your mind using radio technology. Ooh, Fire. door Too you can complex. poke. Yeah, this is a bookstore. And I might be able to get in here, or it might be locked. That sounds locked. It's locked, because it's night time. It's actually 9.20. Let us... Rootin' the trash! Time to root in the trash like a hobo trash, cop. Trash, 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 trash the trash. trash. Mail collection box. Oh, this is not a trash box. Oh. This post uh, le aventure mail collection box has been heavily vandalized graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box! Pat the box. Fuck you, mail delivery box. Kick it. Ow! Well, it didn't hurt me, though. There's a hollow sand ring as you click the Le Aventura mail collection box. It sounds betrayed in, in betrayed, in disbelief even. There's your damage, shell. Your toe is seven damage, it hurts. <laughs> you know Kim, all about it. Cool, that. the lieutenant nods approvingly. You really showed that mail collection box. Pat <laughs> pat. Rhetoric medium success. He does not actually think it's cool. If anything, the lieutenant feels sorry for the poor box. He's leaning in to inspect the layers of graffito that deface it. Oh, you're being sarcastic. I get it. It was actually a dick move. Rub your toe. You think so? You think it was cool? Or say nothing. I'm gonna sort of mention the lieutenant pats the box ever so slightly. Aww. Empathy, medium success. Dodge the bullet there. He must see the box as the weaker of the two. <laughs> and who's the bully? Something he doesn't stand for. <laughs> Good delivery box. Pat the mailbox. Oh no. Some affair is gonna. The mail collection box has no faith in your psychopathic manipulations. Fine, mailbox. Be that way. There's the trash can. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, here we are again. Hey, Recognize look, this. Can you manipulate something new there? 
No. That no the there's green... the door. There's that. That's the speaker box that we decided to not go into an exhaustive search of. Ah right. We, oh, I can't go back to the bin because we've given the keys back like idiots. Oh uh, no, it wasn't that bin. It was the bin just to your left there. To my left, eh? Uh, just up there, though. It's not highlighting green at the moment, which is interesting. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the bin we looked in that had bottles in it. Well, fuck. Maybe that's permanently exhausted then. Uh, let's go up and try near the freight and see if it was up there instead. Yeah, freight is where the collection the thing machines. was. Yeah. Yeah. Right near this racist dude who hasn't cleared off, even though it's like 9:30, dude. It's 9:30. So that's the freight. Maybe not. Maybe not. But since this guy's here, we can talk to him about the case. Yeah. And then we can go exploring some more. Yep. Yep. These guys still haven't backed down, although I'm a little less surprised by that. Now we know they're fooled by vodka. Uh, well, yeah, but also they have a reason to never leave. Yeah. Manana. So he stares at you with his hazy eyes. How'd you like our harbor? Rhetoric. Medium success. You've been in there, he means. Talk to the boss man, too, probably. Was nice enough. Labor Utopia, nods approvingly. Or complete shit. Well, we could lie to this man. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's but a rest area on the path leading across the open plains. He notes solemnly, then turns to you, a wide smile adorning his face. Right, you talk to the boss, eye to eye, like the men, uh, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Kuno told you told me you were supposed to know about the armor. Call me Manana. Hey, he smiles. The little boy uh, did his did good on his promise. His promise? Manana, to get me in trouble. To sick the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words, not mine. Kevin, what happened? Call me Manana. I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official union probe, you know. Track it down, see who took it. Kim, did you? Call me Manana. At first I thought... Why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know. So I went to this boy. He said he'll take me, his, make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere. The cops in his pocket, and he's the king of Jamrock. Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped the probe right then and there, and it still got me in trouble. He smiles. One bad move is all it takes. So Kuno used us to what? Scare you? The probe into the armor. What did you learn? What did you learn? Manana, I learned that people don't want to uh, want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. Kim, what else? Manana, not much. Technical stuff mostly. That was the interesting part. I want to know about the <laughs> sort of technical stuff. Manana, I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. He explains with a wry smile. I didn't get into the material science, but just how it comes off. Kim, how does it come off? Manana. In parts, four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid said he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. I believed him. Sorry, I believe him. The boots were still on the guy I last saw. Uh, last I saw. Too hard to remove. So as a count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the curious. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Hold up. Four pieces? Helmet, curious, gauntlet, boots. What about the leggings? Curious are the but uh, leggings, kind of. Kind of. I'm gonna find one piece. Trying hard not to break into terrible four kids rap, uh, of it. One is enough. I'm ambitious. I'm going to find all of it, all of the pieces, all of them. Mm. Or actually, I may have better things to do. Actually, maybe asking about the leggings is probably a good idea. Uh, Manana. Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore. If they ever did at all, he gives you a jolly shrug. Forget about them. I did. Gonna find all the pieces. Get the hangman's boots. Kim, all of it? The lieutenant raises his brow. There are junior officers out there eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them. And I would leave the boots to processing. But okay, let's find all of it. Rhetoric, medium success. It's implied he finds it unlikely you will succeed in this. Oh well. <laughs> okay, new task, find all the armor pieces. Manana. A mesk epic then. All across Martinez. He glances south where the canal runs. I hope it will be a real bonanza for you. I mean, if I can find it and pawn it. And, yep. uh, you know. <laughs> so, Kuno, here's just what? Scare you? 
Yes. Manana. It's a mining nuisance. It's all no, good. No. He contemplates taking a swig from his flask. Alright, thanks for the cooperation. No problem, he finally takes a swig from the flask. If you see that kid, thank, call, uh, thank him from Call Me Manana. He thank him for showing me the way. Some sort of Ugandan knuckles over here. Uh, empathy, medium success. He's sincerely grateful he is not tracking down pieces of armor right now. Okay, good talking to you. Gotta run. Interesting. Rhetoric. Hey, psst. Look around. Who, me? Look Rhetoric. Yes, you. Word on the street is you're starting to build communism again. Again? How come there's word on the street? <laughs> Rhetoric. You keep saying things like down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize landowners, and pay the little people who have more than 25 real in their pocket. I have 20, 50 free. <laughs> Literally, you had all human beings regardless of their political beliefs, that kind of stuff. Alright, that sounds like me. I haven't said anything like that. I've said some wildly whiffling things, but none of those. Okay. You've said at least two of those. Do we want to go full communist with rhetoric here? Why not? Communist hobo? Communist hobo. Funky style. Very funky. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Wait, first, what's this communism even about? Roll up your sleeves and start building communism. Opt in. It's too tiring. I don't have it in me. I'm beat down and broken. First, what's this communism? Failure. It's about failure. Failure? I don't do failure. Yes. Abject failure. Total irreversible defeat on all fronts. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped, and pissed on. Until you came along, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive, 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class, towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers, million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. You, against the atom, the charm, and the spin, where the whole world failed, matter failed to bend to human will, human will failed to get out of bed and tie its laces, you alone, single-handedly, will rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. Now get to work, comrade. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, what? Firing squads? You didn't say anything about those. Roll up your sleeves forever and bring the first in here. <laughs> I didn't say, you didn't say anything about those. Too late to back out now. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few million eggs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fort gained. Mazovian social economics. Let's have a look at that one. <laughs> Ooh, it gives me temporary research minus minus two to visual calculus. Looks like reaction. Research time three hours ten minutes. So it will give me worse visual calculus while I'm researching it. I think. Yeah, but you also might be done by the time you need it again. I mean, wait, how many? Okay, so we actually only have a few of these unlocked. Mm. I don't know how to unlock these. I do not know. Maybe it's that plus down there. No. No, those are just edges of the screen. Hmm, interesting. We'll look at it next time we um, we level up. I think you can unlock this bullshit. Mm. But fuck it, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's look at the description first. People think communism was some crazy idea that had its comeuppance 40 years ago. A fever that shook the world, never to return again. They were right. Until he woke up today, a spiritual corpse responsive only to the call of Commodore Red, prostitutes and Krasmazov. For him, communism is still a thing. He will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the oceanic trench where it has been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He is the big communism builder. Come, witness his attempts to rebuild communism in the year 51. Bam, let's get it going. <laughs> We can always forget these later on. Oh, yeah, so far so good. <laughs> oh, find all the armor pieces. You want all the armor pieces. Take yourself out in full metal, hard, battle hard and glory. NB, this may take a while. <laughs> like a long while. Get the hangman boots. In order to succeed, one, the body needs to be down. Two, autopsy has to be finished. Three, Kim has to be absent. He wouldn't approve. This will be devilishly tricky, Seymour, so don't beat yourself up if you manage to send the body out to the processing without getting hold of the boots. Where's the rest of the armor? Kuno lied to you. Return and confront him. Yeah, that's gonna go so well for us. Uh, we can talk to Kuno some other time. I want to explore. 
Yeah. You never know what you might find. I'm not going to talk to this guy though, because I know what I might find. <laughs> I mean, that said, I am a communist, communist now. I mean, I'm not actually communist yet. Oh. There's an area to go in here. I'm going to have a look. Oh, it's not an area to enter, but an area to look at. Hmm. Grad Factory of Magnets and Miracles. Ooh. U49. A lorry struck in the ta stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is kept for, is well kept for such an old machine. Look in the window. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorryman's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. What kind of stickers and insignia? The driver has adorned his space with substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Com proclamations about honor, strength, yeah. and purity are glued to various panels. Oh, it's that guy's. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's a, this is his car. <laughs> yeah. His truck. What about the back seat? Perception sight. The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wind, uh, wheels sewn in the curtains. <laughs> Could they been sewn uh, with an E there? Huh? Well, sullen like that means to ah, put right. into yes, the ground. Ah, right. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Conceptualization, medium success. A book of ragged edges catches your notice. The front cover features a large, muscular man. The title reads, Man from Helmdahl in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Kim Gutsuragi. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. He grits his teeth. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Lieutenant nods to the racist lorry driver. Oh, it's that guy. It's his one. You I thought we were on the same page. About I thought we were talking about the big man. No, racist lorry driver. Like you think this lorry belongs to a tough guy? Kim, likely yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. Yeah, Alrighty then. Yeah, like, the moment it was like, nationalist in flags, I'm like, racist dude. Mmm, I suppose. It's kind of the thing racist dudes do, unfortunately. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Gravestone and... I think this is more of a plaque. Maybe. Horseback monument. An old monument. Ooh, look at that zoom out. It stands in the middle of a traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece. Secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philippe Free, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philippian kings of Rivercol, son of Philippe II, the opulent, father of Philippe IV, the insane... Encyclopedia. What did this king do? Medium success. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philippe was known for his pro sorry, profligacy. In what way? Well, he blew through the whole national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the Caesarian of Rivercol. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial uh, anti revolution, an end to his family line, and the monarchy on the ins sorry, Insulindian Isola. How did he manage to blow through the entire national treasury? Well, fair enough, I have other questions. Gonna ask about that treasury. Yep. Stories have it he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, various chalices. This man tried to be Scrooge McDuck. He called it the Sol Aurum. It was obscene. There were whispers he slipped on a huge pile of gold drip feathers like some obese dragon instead of a bed like a normal person. Why would you call it the sun gold? Fuck if I know. But that's what that means. That's sun and gold. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to sleep on gold. Hustle stuff. That would be real uncomfortable. The king is the king and he can do anything. Wait, really? There's no way that's true. A deplorable farce. No wonder everything went to shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. The what now? <laughs> you see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Okay, what is nose candy? This is a lot to process. So he was addicted to, addicted to nose candy. A bloated druggie? Okay, where is he buried now? Okay. I'm gonna ask about the nose candy. That's what the revolutionaries said. 150 years later, right before they emptied out the royal mausoleum and dumped his majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. This is a lot to process. Yeah, sure. His Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the higher realms. Okay, where's he buried now? Beneath the cold waters of the Insulidian Bay, thrown in there by revolutionaries after they cleaned out the Royal Mausoleum. So him and the helmet, just chilling out. Uh, what happened to the statue? The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the Coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution, when Martinez was leveled. 
Most historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had been more time, they would have reduced it to e even finer pieces. Who restored the monument? Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivercol in the poorest part of the city. The statue was supposed to capture the moment that was blown apart like an instant frozen in time. A rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. That's brilliant, so funny and nihilistic. It's such a bad idea. I really don't get art. It's such a bad idea. That's brilliant. <laughs> People of modern days tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Philippe Free, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Rhetoric, medium success. Not that he ever did in life, either. And oh, there we go. A skill point. Uh, did we just level up? Yeah. We just leveled up. Okay. So... Can I... Okay. okay, so I can unlock these later. So if I find stuff that I want, I can and can't get, I can unlock them. Point, yeah. But for now, for right now, we want to upgrade some stuff. So, let's see. Pain threshold stops us from taking damage. Mm -hmm. Which would be nice. There was another one that we wanted to up, though, wasn't it? Uh, possibly Violation. Like volition oh. or Authority, perhaps? I would like to start busting some heads. <laughs> it's true. I mean, but, um, we have almost died on a volition a couple of times. Have we? Well, we've gone. Oh, that's critical right. Yeah, there. because we've gone critical a whole bunch. Maybe let's be leveling that up then. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. I see a green. Move. We got a green dot over here, and what is otherwise looking like a dead end. Yeah. A bold slogan: "Human ox covers the truck." Okay. And I saw something over the, keep on going to the right. I yeah, saw something. Yeah, you else. did. You saw this over here. Ooh. But there's stuff down here too. Yeah. Ooh, box. a box. Take stuff in the box. A uh, tank top. Plus one physical instrument. I forget what that one does. It's your wife beater shirt. Oh. Enjoy being strong. It's your wife beater. <laughs> so what have I normally got? Conceptualization minus one suggestion. I mean, I'll take it. Let's look at this. Tank top, gym vest, reeking of sweat. The sleeveless shirt is the best choice if you're not afraid to show off your masculine upper body and hairy chest. Let's take it. <laughs> Conceptualization really doesn't need the, the um, extra boost. Hasn't done a hell of a lot for us so far. Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. How sad. And then there's this shit over here. What is this? Whatever's in this uh, truck. Ooh. Money! Money. Should have guarded it better. You fat cats didn't finish your real. Now it's mine. <laughs> Pale driver. Small wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. The photograph, uh, sorry, a photograph is clutched in her hands and there's a warm smile on her face. Encyclopedia, medium success. The photo was an amber type from the turn of the century. As golden as her smile. As opposed to a daguerreotype. I'll take your word for that. Uh, Inland Empire, medium success. It's the warmth of winter's nice fire. Maybe she could give you some comfort and shelter? Some cigarettes and food money? She Maybe she's your grandma? Snap your fingers in front of your face. Excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to ask some questions. Uh, which one of these do you figure? Mm, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am, I'd like to ask. I mean, Inland Empire is implying that we might have some success with this. Mm. Let's try it. Nothing. She just smiles, her, widening, uh, her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is grey like lead. Well, let's ask. No response. Well, I guess it's snapping time. Wait, the lieutenant stops you before you can snap. Why? I just told you why. If you say so. <laughs> Kind of weird that you're like getting in my way there, buddy. But uh, whatever. Okay, and that's that dead end, thoroughly investigate odd. Didn't even realize it was a dead end, but fuck if we didn't investigate it. Uh, that doesn't look like a way. Okay, yep, we've been around here, so we're gonna keep going back down this way. 
maybe go and admit we don't have the real to Garte. Uh, we got like a down payment on it, but yeah, I guess we're really not gonna accept that. Nope. I mean, there is a little bit down here. There is a woman there. Did we talk to her? No, we did not. So, time to talk. That's a man! Okay, they had her in a very hooker pose. Tommy Lahom. Oh god, he's singing at me. The man mutters to himself, accenting the beats as he goes. Conceptualization, medium success. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. I am the law! What's going on here? Or just keep listening. Keep listening for a bit. Okay. Hey there. Uh, I have the, no, I, what's going on here? What's the jam, my man? Motion towards a spiral, a spiral of lorries with a sweeping gesture. What's the jam? The jam for the ages. Hopper gates of the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Work was on strike. Scabs agitating. And all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo. With days upon days upon days. Upon days. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. So how long have you been here? I'm gonna ask him how long he's been. Forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout, this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Drama, medium success. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. Or both. I dig your style, man. Extravagantly phrased, but I can roll with it. I don't quite understand what you just said. Could you say it again, only with a little less plotting? I'm gonna say I dig his style because why not compliment yeah, him? Imagine. It's been a whole week already. He snickers an appreciation of you digging in his style. Empathy, medium success. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. What do you need? Care to spare some change for a working step? <laughs> yep. Tell me more about this strike. Know anything about the dead man, the one hanging behind the hostel there? Point at the yard. What are you hauling anyway? Let's uh, start at the top. Huh? Sudden for financial duty, snap him out of his days. Oh, uh, no, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. They who? The bosses, man. Makes sense. First work, then pay. I don't know who these bosses think they are, but they that sounds like a good arrangement for them. So you're broke. Got it. What else do I have to ask here? I'm obviously going to yeah. agitate some more. <laughs> yeah, it ain't good for me. Or oh, you. I'd spare you a coin or two for a city cop down on his luck. If I had, say, four myself. <laughs> know anything about the dead man? You ain't one of our drivers, I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here, keeping busy. Drama, easy success. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Busy with what? Tommy Lahome, analyzing the fundamental structure and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. And your conclusion. And your conclusion. A sense of surprise there ain't no more bodies hanging from the trees. I'll ask him about his strike. Tommy, it's like whatever's going on in the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands, no way in or out. What's the union demanding? <laughs> Shaded Topaz has joined us and says, Hi, how's it going? Sup, we are only a third of the way to a uh, bed for the night, which is a shame because, like, we it's suspect. about 10 o'clock now in game. <laughs> and we suspect that the owner will not take a third of the payment. No. Uh, excuse me. Some pretty wild stuff I hear. Like a new gi giant new power crane and half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk like there's a company rep in town, too. Like a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. Kim. Ah, yes, from the Wild Pines. He takes a note. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Mm. What do you think the oh, company well, wants? Oh, that's probably the person you met in the hotel. The first one. Maybe. They want to keep that money flowing in, my man? He makes a ka-ching sound. Rhetoric, medium success. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side, that's for sure. Anything else I should know? Tell me, anything else? He thinks. Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. All of who? Tell me, us lorry drivers. Come on, yours. A few of you still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high or laid. Smiles awkwardly. Not that I blame him, really. Not you. She says, oof. <laughs> Tommy. 
Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer <laughs> the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He glances down at the road toward the horizon, glint of something in his eyes. Composure, medium success. He tries his best to look nonchalant, but there's a rigidity in him, as if trying to conceal something warm and beneath a cool exterior. Formidable empathy check. What do you see in his eyes? Oh, that's a success. In his eyes, a half familiar longing. Blicks of brown and gold. Familiar how? Tell me. It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest down the street that goes beyond the horizon. What's in the southwest? Tell me. Excuse me? He emerges from the reverie. Composure. Medium success. A flinch jolts his frame. The question has touched a nerve. I'm a, fo I'm a cop. I can fix anything. Really? You can tell me. Hell, I get longing. I've felt something similar since I woke up. Yep. Okay. Tell me. Man, he sighs. I don't know what to say. Not much anyone else can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. They're all I have. My wife. Second kid on the way. Waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am, stuck in this shit. So far from home. Diora? Tell me. Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of Lucaliu. Pretty much. On another island. Called Laurentide. Off the mainland. Got a little place there. I can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. What's it like to miss someone? Tell me, what's it like? Good and bad. An ache that brings you joy. He smiles warmly. I think about them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail. Of living with them. It comforts me. There's a pause and a sigh. Then he turns his eyes to you. What about you, cop man? You missing someone? Inland Empire. Medium success. Is that what it is? This feeling? Half light. Easy success. No, it's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter. Smelling of apricots and sorrow. And the past. I miss my gun. I lost it. I miss someone, but I don't know who it is. I'm fine, man. I don't miss anyone. Or well, no, I feel hunted. Hmm. I guess I'll uh, do the. F writing earlier was better. It's. Uh, I assume she means in the in the style. In the game. Uh, I think so. Well, we'll see. I feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I don't and I know it wasn't an easy ask, he smiles. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. What are you hauling anyway? Apples. Tommy. Oh, high grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Rhetoric, medium success. Relax, he's merely joking. You're under arrest. Wicked. I always wanted a friend in the underworld. Okay, what are you actually haul hauling? I'm gonna just joke. Yeah, I was Tommy, ha huh, no, I'm joking, my man, he grins. Fallon runs a nice clean business. This whole of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Ooh, the writer. That might be where Kuno got his, like, pants. Yeah. They usually get shipped to the garage and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Ilmarian market lately. So nothing illegal then? That's your machine behind you? Gotta get one of those felon tracksuits you hire hauling? Or, right, I had another question. Get one of those tracksuits! Tommy, we're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. <laughs> That's your machine behind you? Tommy, this rockin' beauty? He points to the lorry of his fun. Sure is, like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo machinery? And yes, she does be in the game. Encyclopedia, medium success. Not a motor lorry, also called a camion on Kaleu and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of felon rust, basket, rust bucket. Maybe the A6? Is that Fallon A6 you got there? Yeah, these lorries are pretty neat. Interested? Not really. Just ask because, you know, must be cop reflex. I'm going to ask specifically. Tommy. Good eye, my man. Yep, she's an old one, but reliable. He gives the side of the lorry a friendly knock. Me and her spent a long time together. Empathy, medium success. There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long in this lorry. Right. All right. I think that's all we got for this man. Don't be a stranger. Oh, oh, uh, it looks like um, he has something oh. to say to you. Well, to you. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for damages yet. You should take care of that then. But I don't have the money. Kim, let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the streets. We'll figure something out. He doesn't understand you're a hobo cop. Empathy, medium success. Though he finds the situation frustrating, he's doing his best not to make you feel any worse than you already do. So that's an update on pay for damages. Try negotiating. I thought that may come to it. Let's go talk to this motherfucker, shall we? 
Yeah, I wonder if this is actually a way to get enough money. Um, quite possibly, but I don't know it. Yeah. River Cold is pronounced River Shoal. Oh, then you kind of spelled it wrong. Orange is pronounced Oranje. And there's a third one too, but I didn't fucking look at it. Uh, Clausier. Clausier. 